Alright, so after my last video, which uh, showed my Clipsol integration uh, with Node.js, there were several people who were asking about potentially um, talking to Seagate, which is a Java application that um, acts as a proxy, rather than talking direct to the CNI. Um, I uh, kind of spent a little bit of time and put together a little uh, proof of concept on that, uh, and it actually was very, very simple to do, and uh, I'm really liking the the way that Seagate greatly simplifies um, the communication protocol back to the CNI. It saves saves you from having to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, and uh, so now I've done them both, and and uh, I I kind of prefer Seagate in some ways. So anyway, uh, here's the little Node.js app that I wrote. Um, kind of walk through this. There's some. Uh, at the beginning here there's just a little bit of uh, configuration and we get right into create two channels here one um, to Seagate we create one to control um, stuff with and then one that just listens for status updates and it's pretty simple anytime that it, we receive a status update I just log it just so we can see what it does and then on the on the web server side I create a little web server that will uh, just listen uh, on this path right here and receive commands and uh, just write them out, write them out to the control channel. Um, basically, acting as a little proxy where you can uh, just send uh, Seagate commands and have them executed um, on your uh, home automation network. So, uh, anyway, let's take a look at it in action. So we pull it up here, uh, up top here. This is where I've got uh, Seagate running. It's just lo running on my local host. I'm testing and then uh, here is where the node app is and let's go ahead and fire that up so I say node server js is going to execute that 40 lines of code that I've got and when I connect it it basically um, the control channel sends me a message back and says it's ready um, so anyway uh, let's go check out the status um, and see what happens when I when I trigger stuff so if I turn off this light here, you can see that it sends a status update and I click it on again. There's no lag in this at all, no latency. Um, so anyway, the thing that's nice about that is that I can take these commands as they come through and I can actually, um, if I just grab one of these commands here, and we'll open up a web browser. I can I can pass in any commands that I want into you know, just a regular web browser, just um, and uh, when I when I execute this command, it actually, and I know you can't see that, but I just turned on my light, you know, or I can, you know, uh, send another command and turn it off. So anyway, uh, it's just a simple proof of concept, um, but I'm pretty excited about um, what I might be able to do with this. Um, being able to call URLs is I mean, there's there's lots of iOS apps that are even out there right now that will just let you call an HTTP address. So having an HTTP proxy to this stuff is pretty nice. And uh, I hope you like it. I'm going to post the code up to GitHub if you uh, want to take and play with it. Have any questions, let me know.